So how are you bloody doing? <laughs> Push it. So yeah, quick update on what Grace is doing with the garden. She's got some bloody grass seed again. She's got some sort of wild flower seed. You look at the state of this, mate. So yeah, she actually ploughed the entire garden with a fork, which I'm quite impressed with actually. So uh, you've got a border around the outside with all the gravel. The inside's gonna be sort of a uh, wild grass and wild uh, flowers. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually impressed with how she's uh, ploughed the garden. Like I say, she just used a fork, went back and forth, used the bricks as a border. So uh, now I've got her trained up nicely, I can use her in the woods. She can probably do some raking. I wanted to see how fast I could spin this GoPro. How fast could I spin it? And I had a little think about what I could spin it with. I got a washing machine, but it only goes up to 1600 RPM. Not fast enough. I have my own lathe, manual lathe. That only turns at 1500 RPM, not fast enough. I got access to some CNC lathes. How fast do they go? Well, one of them goes to 2750. It normally goes to 5000, but it's been capped because they've changed the uh, chuck on it from a hydraulic to a manual one. So uh, would you really want to spin a GoPro at sort of five, 6000 RPM? Nah, 2750, sounds perfect. So I thought, I have a little look on uh, YouTube, see what other people have been doing when spinning a GoPro in a chuck in a lathe. And it's really random what I found. See, everyone is clamping the GoPro by the actual GoPro. One clever man used a four jaw chuck, which is a lot better, but still clamping the actual GoPro in the actual jaws, a little bit sketchy. So I've got my engineering mind out. How else can you do this? How else can you clamp a GoPro in a lathe for it to be safe when spinning at high speeds. So yeah, this is what I come up with. I've actually machined this bit of aluminium. I've got the little location on the back. So that bit there, that machine part there, fits on the actual back of the GoPro. Uh, the two holes are for zip ties and the back part is obviously where it clamps in the actual lathe itself so that it spins true. And it's bloody genius. So I've got my uh, old GoPro Hero 4. The actual back part, if you see, it's got a little lip in there. That actually sits on my machine part. Look, it pops on. So it's like that. So in theory, that should actually spin pretty true. So pretend my fingers are the actual jaws in the machine. So I'll grip it like that. A couple of zip ties and stuff just to make sure it stays in there. Ghetto style, got you zip ties. Best invention ever since sliced bread. So yeah, that is going to spin at 2,750 RPM. Uh, hopefully it doesn't fly out, but if it does, it'd be quite extraordinary. So this is the most important bit. Grab yourself a shotty bottle, stitch yourself up, Bust a few down your lungs, sit back and watch this footage. It will take you to like another dimension, another realm, another world. Stare into it long enough and you'll be in outer space.
so well machine that it just spins. You can just stare at it and just go into like outer space and that. So yeah, GoPro POV in a lathe, mission complete. Now we'll go on to the next mission, and that is uh, because of the weather outside, Storm Dennis kicking right off. The local sort of streams and rivers are running really fast at the moment. So I want to build a little boat. I'm going to build Basket's Ark. I think it's stuck. <laughs> Not stuck anymore. Time to find a bigger tunnel. That one's a little bit sketchy. I know getting it jammed in there and lose my GoPro forever. Oh, this is much better. Look how nice this is flowing. was just a little warm-up my little basket raft the basket arc took it up King's Cliff just to see if it kind of works before we go to uh, the main spot but I don't know if we're gonna make it there it is literally flooded out everywhere we just went through a bloody lake back there and we're kind of following these two cars it down round, it? yeah it's crazy it's That's what, that goes towards like uh, Triscum and stuff it's horrendous so yeah we got to try and make it to <gasps> Dunster oh my good god Sorry. a lot of cars are turning around and going back Try not to flood out the van and just uh, hope for the best. I didn't realise it was that bad. Oh my good god. Oh my god. Let's go real slow just so we don't go inside the actual car. That's terrible. It's not coming in the door so it should be right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not that deep. 
It just looks real deep. That fan don't care. Oh my god. I don't like this at all. Can you check the door? Can you open the door? Just check. Yeah. Now it's miles down there. It's gone about half a foot. Just stay right in the middle, I would say. Are you sure? Actually, that, no. I don't think we should go through. No. Nah, reverse. That's just not a good idea. That is insane. What? So ever. No. Yeah, I think all the other cars are turning around too. I would. That BMW up there is pretty much floating. Yeah, literally. Yeah, we ain't gonna make it. The problem is, by the time we actually get to where we gotta go and then return, it's gonna be too deep and there's only a sort of one way to get there. And this van is quite low. And uh, already we've had a bit of steam come up from the bonnet where the water sort really of sprayed bad, up. Really bad, guys. Really bad. I mean, Turn it, around now. Turn yeah, around. That, that focus has got no chance. It's way, way too low. No. Yeah, some of these Fords are just too low. And you're driving by in a Ford before, and you're like, oh yeah, he's all right. And then you think you go for it, and oh my word. Then some dickhead had come flying forward, and he just sprayed the hell out of you. And if you sort of flood your engine, that is it. Good night, Irene. I'll see you in your dreams. Things you make me too make my we got to sort of test the limits to your driving. I feel like your driving is a little bit sketchy, so we get you out in these like horrendous conditions. I think your mind is sketchy, but I don't want to test any limits. My mind is another level, mate. Exactly. Let's drive straight into the canal. <laughs> So yeah, that is a waterfall I wanted to get to down on Dunster Beach, but yeah, there's no chance of getting there. I don't want to flood out my engine just for the lols, just for like one clip. So I'll wait till it sort of dies down, then return. I see a puddle. I can see a puddle at the bottom of the bridge. Under the bridge. Yeah, the mer oh, oh my no. god, look at that river there. Oh my goodness. Oh. It's insane over here. That's not even a river, that's a that's a field. Oh it is now. Oh we're going under the train track. That's yeah. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a fish just jumped out. Where? Over there. Oh. Yeah, it did. I feel like it. The shed is in the road. The shed is in the bloody road. Oh, that's not good. Dennis! Can we push it back? Yeah, go on then. Go on then, Grace. Push it. Oh my god. Here you go, you take that. Take that. Bloody shed flying out the road. Don't that. That's, that would have kept crap. going. That would have been like right in the middle. Yeah. Drive past and the bloody shed it's inside your car. You'd be like, what the hell? Oh my bloody good god. Look at all of that. Oh my good god. Why not? Oh, it's because you're naked. Grace is naked at the moment. She cooks naked. Titties all up in that curry. So yeah, this is a basket arc. It is GoPro compatible. This would be on my merch store at some point. Uh, what you're seeing now is a kind of uh, limited edition version with my face on it. They will be mega bucks, but I'm sure you can afford it. And for those of you that swim in the local canals and stuff, get like sort of voles disease and all that, you can attach your GoPro to this and film yourself going through the canal and dodging the floaters and all that, dead rats and all that. 